So this is New York City's first medical marijuana pharmacy or dispensary. Uh, so we're opening a new door of patient access and hopefully we'll be able to provide patients with an alternative or substitute form of treatment uh, for some of the qualifying conditions that have been approved under the law. For example, uh, epilepsy, uh, multiple sclerosis, uh, ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, HIV AIDS, uh, cancer. And so there is a, uh, the incident rate, um, the estimates for the incident rate somewhere in the neighborhood of one and a half to two percent of the total population. So New York State could have between 200 and 400,000 patients enrolled in the program as it currently exists over time. It always starts off as a plant. Uh, it's an organically cultivated uh, plant that has chemical compounds. And what we do is we extract those compounds and we formulate them uh, in New York State. The product offerings will be focused in three specific kinds of delivery methods. One is a tincture, uh, which will be uh, basically administered under the tongue as a liquid form. The other is a concentrate that can be vaporized. And the third alternative is pills, uh, which are capsules. I hope that we can show uh, the medical community and provide enough data to the medical community and to policymakers so that they become believers in the efficacy of the product uh, and begin to use it as an alternative to standard of care in some of these really, really terrible illnesses. I have a lot of friends who've had AIDS, and they have used illegally over the years um, marijuana to ease their pain. So it's, medical marijuana is incredibly important. I, until I actually met people, I didn't know the impact. But they were able to survive. I think some of them have actually passed. But they were able to survive because of the health benefits of marijuana. So that's why I'm here today.